Happy Easter. It's good to see you. I wasn't planning on putting out a video, but I had to share with you not just my favorite knife, not just an opening, but I feel I would be amiss if I didn't share my faith with you. And part of the reason why we're still here is because of our faith in Jesus. And so that is why uh, we, we exist. Not to sell knives, uh, not to... Uh, I go all over the world. We travel all over the world. You see the map behind us, but we, I've, I've traveled all over the world and led worship in 16 different countries, um, but all to bring glory to uh, God through his son, Jesus. And so um, I figured I would just share a short video, a short video of my favorite knife. You want to see it? Let me give you some close-ups. So this is my favorite knife. I, I say it's my favorite because it was made um, by a man that I, I love and I, I appreciate and I admire. Um, but also, um, it has some of the best things I look for in knives. And so, let me show you what it is. The maker, if you haven't guessed already, is Mr. Tins Prinsloo. And Mr. Prinsloo, as you may guess, is a fellow believer. He's a follower of Christ as well. And um, I asked him to make me an Easter knife. And this is it. And this is his Easter knife that he made me. Crosses on this side. This is a, a brass that he's carved out. Uh, just African ebony wood. The bolster and the backspacer are titanium. Actually, the, the, the backspacer is titanium. The bolster is brass. This is the, the empty tomb of a dove representing Christ. Let me show you the the blade is some Damascus Damascus that he made, and uh, put his his touch in there on the inside of the backspacer. Does not have a um, a pocket clip because I put it right here in this pouch. I put it in my pocket and head off to church. So that's it. I, I love it. It has everything that I want, something that's unique, something that's different. Nobody else has it. Nobody else has another knife like this in the world. And uh, I'm thankful for the maker. And I'm also thankful for uh, our Heavenly Father who gave him the gift to create something like this that I can be proud of and that I can carry and that, uh, I don't know, something unique and different. So I share that with you to say, we also have a package to open from Mr. Chin's Prinsloo. And so let's, uh, let's open up and see what he has. You might have some other Easter knives. Let's find out. So it looks like I don't just have knives, I also have pins. So let's look at a few of these together. I think that you're gonna really like it. Let's look at the pins first. Now that is a beautiful pin. Looks like some giraffe bone. Go, that looks like some warthog ivory on a bullet pin. There's another giraffe bone pin. What do we have? Oh, this is a this looks like a giraffe bone layered pin. I'm not sure. It's got some some pink and some browns in it. I like it. Regardless, I like that one. There you go. One more pin. If I can get them undone. 
There we go. That looks like a giraffe bone pin. A little green dye in it. I like it. Now those were not made by Mr. Chin's Prince Lou. Those, those pins were made by his daughter. And so we're thankful for her, thankful for her gift. And uh, we've been, um, hadn't got any pins in a while. So good to have a few pins. I think that somebody's gonna get some really cool Father's Day gifts maybe. Uh, if we have any left, we'll take some to the, to the show, to the blade show. Now let's look at, I think we have one, two, three, four knives for Mr. Chin's Prinsaloo. All right, one, two, three, four. Have never seen them, but I think I wanna open that one last. It's got a nice giraffe on it. Let's open this one first. Very, very nice. Now this is a little weightier in the hand, come, does come with a pocket uh, uh, actually a belt, uh, leather sheath, and it just holds onto your belt. It's got the little uh, African Bushman right there. Leather sheath, so it does not come with a pocket clip. It's got, it's got some weight to it, just so you know if you're picking these up, because it has double brass bolsters with a little bit of, you can see that inlay inside of that little red inlay it looks like. It looks like He's the African Bushman. Listen, this one looks like a giraffe. This one looks like a, a, a African Bushman with a bow. When you get real close, I'll try to put some pictures in here for you. Um, giraffe as well right here. And the Bushman right there. Giraffe bone. And then one of the things I love, that backspacer right there. Chins does an excellent job. Nice flipper. Good style, nice drop point. The Hammond blade, 1095 steel. Love it. Very fine knife, chins. Very fine. Someone's gonna have an excellent piece on their hands. All right, number two, I'm gonna go with the long one. It looks like one of his toothpicks. I was right, I'm gonna have to go back and see. Now this does look like giraffe bone as well. Crocodile, look, a long crocodile right there. And on this side, it's got the giraffe bone with the raven, croc and raven. If you look, this is a front flipper. You see that hole really long, like a crocodile, really long. Check that one out right there. Fantastic piece. Nice backspacer. Beautiful knife, excellent. Excellent knife. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, let's check it out. This one is the Tree of Life. You've seen a lot of these knives. What well, looks like the Tree of Life on the outside. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Wow. This is a unique piece. I've never seen a piece that's fully, this looks like a full titanium. It's got the weight and feel of another, uh, one of some of his other pieces, but it looks like it's polished and then you can see, look, you can see yourself in the background, but you can see the polishing right here. Let me, uh, you can see the landscape that he's put on here on this polished finish. A little African Bushman as well. I'll try to get these some up close shots. See the blade? Ooh, a little, it looks like his own Damascus with a Tonto blade shape. Very unique. Again, this comes with a leather sheath. Fantastic piece, I like it. Very unique, I haven't seen that style from him before, but maybe we'll see some more soon. Last piece, here it is. The giraffe on the outside of the sheath. Let's see, I'm right. The giraffe and the giraffe bone right here on both sides. So you have one in a vertical, a giraffe with kind of sneaking out right there, beautiful purple background. And then horizontal, the giraffe leaning down to the baby right there. Very nice giraffe on the back spacer. 
see the blade. I love this. This is the. This is actually the. Um, this is actually the Damascus that he used on the, my knife. I love that Damascus that he makes. A little bit of nickel. That's what you're seeing. That silver through there. Beautiful piece. Excellent flip. Tins. You've outdone yourself, my friend. These pieces are great, guys. I'm. I love Tins's work, and so I'm always going to be uh, high on his work. I just put some other pieces that he sent to us uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, so there's a few pieces that are live on the website right now. These are not live yet. Uh, feel free to contact us if you would like to get a first shot at these uh, when we make up this post. Um, but uh, I'm thankful for Chins. I'm thankful for the artwork that God has put in his heart to make these beautiful knives. And we're thankful uh, for Jesus and what he's done through his death and his resurrection. That is why we celebrate Easter. I hope that you examine yourself and that you follow after him all the days of your life. Yeah, have a great weekend.